are castaways. I don't know why, but that is horrifically stuck in my head. What's going on, guys? My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me I should be welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have episode 12 of our Jujutsu Kaisen watch through named To You Someday. Now, guys, this episode has set up for quite a bit. We have the confrontation between Itadori and Yoshino, forced on by Geto mostly. Well, Geto and Mahito. This poor kid Yoshino has been kind of just tricked into this path, tricked into thinking that these, these bullies have gone to the extent of putting this curse under his home or one of the fingers from Sukuna. And of course, it was Geto and all them the whole time. But using that emotional trauma that Yoshino has experienced and leveraging that in hopes of Itadori entering a binding pact with Sukuna, that's what they're hoping happens with this confrontation between him and Yoshino. And I'm very worried that Yoshino won't make it out alive. Guys, we're gonna hop right into it. If you need to channel, drop a sub, hit that big boy bell so you miss any future episodes. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's just hop right into it. Okay, so at least he did kind of try to reason with Nanami before going in, but I think he realized he had to make a move. Yep. <laughs> at least Nanami already knows. What does Ino kun do? I'm guessing he's like a lower level sorcerer, but. <laughs> If you take care of this job, he knows how to encourage. Who is this guy? Oh, man. It's the only one else to get hurt. How did he get past him? Oh, like that, I guess. <laughs> So he wasn't going to forcefully stop him, but I think because he, he realized it would be kind of futile to try to forcefully stop him. Poor Yoshino, man. He's like fully corrupted, but it's because of, like I said, his past. We know his story already. It's so sad. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, we're getting right into it. Whoa, that's cool. Huh, that's insane. Dude, there has to be a lot of fighting in this episode. A lot has to happen in this episode if they're starting off like right off the bat. Oh man. Indiscriminate salvation. Dude, it's so sad that I, I can't root against him, but I have to. This all roots from his conversation with Mahito. He literally sounds like Mahito right now. At least you can tell he has, you know, emotion in his eyes still. Like he doesn't want to hurt Isidori. Oh, this is where. It's like a shortcut of corruption. He's just reaching. <laughs> Come on, it's a Tori. Just like restrain him or something, please. Don't hurt my boy Yoshino. Like I said, they want to push him to the point where he has to. He's forced to enter that binding contract. Hmm, with Sukuna. If only Yoshino knew that Mahito isn't on his side. God. Whoa, that's dope. Yeah, why didn't it work on Itadori, though? God, that's so dope. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, to be honest, I, the world, that worldview Mahito explained, I still don't, that doesn't make it okay, yeah. I still can't believe that was Gojo and I didn't recognize him. Yeah, that's what it feels like, true. Well, it's, you know... All the trash he's been put through. That was, it was like the calm before the storm. Didn't Mahito say that? They don't have hearts. You see the, it's here. You see that's here before it fell. Yeah. 
And this is the moment where he's forcing him to. Where he's going to. He didn't even try. He realized he just needs someone to listen to him. He's never had that. You can tell he was surprised by the relationship he had with Itadori so quickly. Surprised by how kind Itadori was. Dude, yes! They still don't know he's alive, bro. I can tell you. Please say yes. Please say yes. Yeah, they've never met. I figured they, he, uh, Mahito would step in eventually because... Ah! Oh! Oh no, no, no. Because Yoshino was starting to turn. He just wants to use you. God, the voice acting. Jeez. Oh no. Did he realize it? Hmm. Thinking back to him showing them those humans. I think he's reassessing what he can, is considering a bad person. And it's too late. No, dude! No one can can do that except Mahito. This is what Mahito wants though. Yeah, that's exactly what he wants. Don't think Mahito expected Sukuna to turn down a free takeover of Itadori's. Yeah. Well, that was the stipulation if he won. Hmm. No, I doubt it isn't. I, I doubt that it's beyond him. So he just has to wait it out? I'm surprised Ghetto didn't come with him. Now it's just like a standoff. Jesus. Born out of hatred and evilness. That is so damn sad. Oh my god. Man, he was like, come with me. He was like, about basically about to say like, yes. But it was all too late. That is so damn sad. You you might have upset Itadori a bit. Oh, beat his ass, please! Oh, a wound? How? So like, huh? Like naturally aware? Oh my god, what a visual. Dang, dude! Oh my god. That is the coldest line of all time. Jesus. Oh, we're actually about to see like a showdown. But he can't. It's like a roadblock. I'm guessing Geto just wanted to watch from the sidelines. Full of hatred. And I think Mahito is. I can't find the word amount of hatred right now. Rightfully so. I mean, Mahito's still so confident. 
<laughs> He'll just keep going. <laughs> what shape is that? Is that chains? Oh my god! But they're all, they look like as thin as like fishing line. God, the soundtrack is so good. My toes freaking crazy! I literally could not even remotely tell which way this fight. Like, I, 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 how do you know what to expect? And then he got balls! I don't think Monzo expected him to actually pull up to that! Yeah! Well, has less control over it. I mean, that, it, that would only naturally make sense, I guess. Not that everything in this show makes complete sense, but that, that does make sense. God, the sound of the punch! It's that sound of a punch hitting someone's soul! Dude, Sukuna literally said no. But I guess that was... He's gonna force him. I guess that was for the healing part that he said no, he still could. <laughs> oh my god. Sukuna is so badass, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, baka. Oh. <laughs> Sukuna is just vibing in there, bro. Oh, give him the headbutt! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so satisfying to see him beat to a pulp. Oh my god! <gasps> what? Oh, he like. Oh my. Like. Oh, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was Nanami. Oh my god. I thought he like used Nanami's move for a second. I was like, did he copy it? Oh my god. Not the, I think he's gonna back off now. Quick rundown. Unless they don't retreat and it's them versus him. I don't think I don't think Mahito has any plans on retreating. The nosebleed. He's like, how did you do that? Because <laughs> Nanami's already analyzed him. This is all gonna be up to Itadori. He's still turning into a lesson. He's so smart, dude. He's just already broken it down. Just by the fact that he saw a little bit of blood. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it's too hype, bro. So that scene of Itadori promising to kill Mahito will live in my head for the rest of my life. How he was so sure about this statement that it had made everything he had said prior to that not even matter. He said it makes all of that sound like a lie that I've said before. Everything in my life. It shows you how deeply he already cared about Yoshino, how quickly he had formed that bond, and how by Mahito snapping that bond in half just absolutely drove him off the deep end. I I mean, we see emotion from Itadori, sure, but never to that extent of a oh, rage. I think the closest we've gotten was the anger and frustration he felt whenever he couldn't save that prisoner, the, the mom, whoever, whoever was looking for her son, whenever he found his body. But my God, what an episode. Guys, that has been episode 12 of our Jujutsu Kaisen watch through to you someday. Let me know what you the episode down in the comments below. I'm sure you have quite a bit to say. And as always, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.